This is Barbera de Alba Il Cerreto from Roberto Buerzio. It's the 2015 vintage. Buerzio is a, a, a superstar producer in Piedmont, uh, located in La Mora. Uh, his Barolos are uh, some of the finest produced. And <laughs> they garner very large prices. Um, this Barbera, on the other hand, is really affordable. <laughs> and it gives you a real um, insight into, you know, what Vuerzio is all, all about. Um, just meticulous winemaking from start to finish. All grapes hand-picked, particular vineyard, assor assorted, selected, very carefully fermented, um, all natural fermentation, no added yeasts, no filtration. This wine gets aged in the large oak casks, um, but they use about 70% new, and it gets 12 months in those casks, and then they put it back in a tank for an additional aging. So the idea is the wine gets a nice, sort of subtle addition of those oak nuances and goes back into the tank and then lets all those flavors come together. Really lets the wine, um, you know, take on its own character before release. Um, you know, 15 vintage, this is the latest release, right? So they really want, when you pop the cork, to have the expression that they're looking for in that glass, right? Beautiful color on this. Getting really nice. Mm. Getting blackberry, black plum. Getting some nice like marzipan notes on here. A little bit of uh, toastiness from, from the oak. A little bit of anise, licorice. A little hint of truffle in here too. It's a really nice, nicely arrayed nose. <laughs> Let's try it. This is um, sort of incredibly plush on the palate. Really kind of, uh, <clears throat> it's like a wave overtakes your palate. Beautiful. Um, you know, the thing that you're always gonna look for and get from Barbera is that wonderful acidity. And the acidity is there. And it's making my mouth water even now as, as I'm talking. Um, because it just kind of brings up all the nice flavors. There's the plums, black cherries, a bit of licorice, a little bit of um, a little bit of like notes of caramel, wood smoke, some nice earthy tones, but with a real kind of richness uh, and a, a real velvety quality. I mean, you know, you, you age the wine, you give that wine the additional barrel age, tank aging, some bottle age, and those tannins are gonna be right, nice and soft and plush. That's really what we're getting here. So, um, yeah, gives you a little inkling into uh, what Roberto Buerzio is all about, and <laughs> it's just really nice wine for a terrific price. Happy drinking.